on the ground! Get on the ground! Late at night, a stolen van reversed and rammed into the cash converter's roller door. Following this, four masked men entered the store and commenced smashing and grabbing whatever they could. Interestingly, the thieves exerted considerable effort for relatively little reward. They chose to ignore valuable electronics and handbags worth thousands of dollars, opting instead for watches and secondhand jewelry. That's scary, scary, very scary. They could have loaded the whole shop up in there. Van gone, all my tools gone, it's just like, poof. Notably, two of them neglected to wear gloves, providing forensic investigators with the opportunity to dust for fingerprints in the hope of apprehending them soon. A repeat burglar targeted the Valero gas station twice in a week, but the second attempt didn't go as planned. Upon entering the store to steal a 12-pack of beer, the clever clerk quickly locked the burglar inside and promptly called the police. The frustrated burglar attempted various methods, from kicking the glass to using a bottle of beer to pry the door open, but none were successful. I lock him inside, and then he tried to break left door, right door, left door, right door, and he said, oh, guy, you got me today, you got me today. And last week, he come to steal beer and broke the door, and he went out. And two, I called police. The police can't find him. This guy is terrible. It's terrible, very terrible. Eventually, the police arrived and arrested the would-be thief. An armed man appeared at a SoCal gas station. Startled, the store clerk quickly leaped over the counter, seeking safety on the other side. In the chaos, money spilled out of the register, and the thief hastily scooped up some of it before making a swift escape. In a clothing store, a woman engaged in a deceptive shopping act, casually browsing with a cart and a drink. Little did she know, cameras captured the moment she secretly stuffed several clothes into her pants. Her attempt at theft was short-lived as sheriff's deputies swiftly apprehended her and her accomplice upon exit. Sheriff's off, stop! What are you doing? Are you with that car over there? You don't have anything, uh, any weapons, anything like that? Mm -mm. I'm gonna take your bag off you right here. Can you watch your head? What? Hold on, right there's good. Right there's good. She's got all kinds of stuff concealed in her pants, still. <laughs> Want me to go over there right now with him and go talk to the camera? Well, and and the property to see, we gotta start uh, doing this. Yeah. yeah. A female officer was called to recover the concealed items from the woman's pants, leading to her subsequent arrest and charges of theft. A man was caught on camera stuffing items into his bag in the middle of a store in Philadelphia. Despite being aware that people were recording him, he continued with his actions. After filling his bag, he casually walked out without facing any resistance. <laughs> Wow. Rack it up. And even the shelf up. Is he worth it? He must work here. Five, nine, seven. Yeah, he must work here, right? <laughs> Yo. What are you doing? <laughs> Rack it up. Five minutes later, the security shows up. <laughs> and now the cop shows up. What are they gonna do? That guy's long gone. <laughs> the police arrived later, but by that time, the man had already left. A 42-year-old woman was captured on surveillance camera, 
stealing gold chains from an Adelaide store by using a spray bottle filled with chili sauce to incapacitate a worker. On her first visit, she disguised herself as a blind person, wearing a wig and using a cane to repair an earring. On her second visit, she pretended not to be blind and expressed interest in seeing the stock. During her third visit, she skillfully sprayed chili sauce into the worker's eyes, grabbed a bundle of gold chains, and fled. I stepped back a bit and I said, oh my God, my jewelry, I remember. And she's grabbed and running out. I cannot open my eyes and I'm really sting and burn. Really want to catch her to get back all my jewelry. My wife says, hey, is uh, someone wrong? And I know that it's... That it must be 100% that lady. When I uh, get her and she fell down, she used the taser to try to hurt me, and I just just take from her. A lot of people in the street too, and they just uh, pick some for me. I don't know, like, it's maybe someone they take. Although the victim's husband managed to retrieve most of the jewelry, she escaped until the police caught up with her. She now faces charges of aggravated robbery and possessing a prohibited weapon. This surveillance video captures a masked and armed man entering Metro PCS and heading straight to the counter. The employee, upon seeing the weapon, calmly moved back without resistance. The individual then took the money from the counter and quickly left the premises. Three individuals arrived at a fireworks warehouse in a car, with two entering the warehouse while one stood outside as a getaway driver. The two individuals inside the warehouse took fireworks, ignited them, and fled. As a fire broke out, Vigilant customers took action, using a fire extinguisher to prevent further damage. In their hasty exit, the culprits also took products from the store, amounting to a total value of $200. Three armed and masked individuals targeted Metro PCS in Ensley. They entered the store, threatening an employee and another individual. Despite searching, they couldn't find any money. Suddenly, the alarm started blaring, prompting them to hastily flee the scene. Two men were caught on camera breaking into a business in Ravenhall, Melbourne's West. Despite the business having multiple security measures like a gate, roller door, alarms, and security cameras, the thieves rammed a stolen vehicle into the front door. They managed to steal three custom-made high-power car engines worth a total of $160,000. Obviously, it's someone that has been in here before. The offenders knew what they were, they were looking for and uh, they went straight to that back room in excess of $160,000. really hard. I just felt numb. When this in Skyline, GDR only, and the other one into a Mitsubishi Evo. The thieves loaded the engines into two waiting getaway cars and escaped, leaving behind damaged cars in the factory. 
In Cleveland's east side, three robbers targeted the Metro PCS store. They walked before the store several times, and the person behind the counter noticed them and saw the danger coming, so he put his hand on his weapon. One of the individuals headed towards the counter wielding his weapon, and the person behind the counter, sensing the potential danger, thought it would be unwise to use the weapon. Instead, he decided to stand up. The robbers shoved cell phones into their bags and quickly fled the store on foot. I was like, he's like, give me, I, he's like, I need it. I was like, man, just take whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it with you. I was gonna blast them, all three of them. I had the perfect shot. My pistol got a beam on it. I'm not gonna miss. And the one with the, the biggest chicken ran away when he see me coming after him. After gathering the information from the surveillance video, the authorities are actively finding these people so that justice can be served. On Saturday, June 8, 2019, three unknown males entered Metro PCS in Houston, Texas. The suspects demanded the employees to empty the cash registers and open the safe, to which the employees complied. The suspects also searched the employees' pockets, taking any items found. During the robbery, the third suspect remained at the door, preventing customers from leaving. After obtaining money from the registers and the victim's personal property, the suspects fled the scene in an unknown direction. Two burglars targeted Adrian Blanco's jewelry store. They cut the power to the store and threw a rock at the front door to break in. Blanco received a notification on his phone immediately, but with the power out, he couldn't see what was happening until later. And lo and behold, I turn on my camera and I see these two guys lurking outside my store. What was suspicious was the time, it was around 11 uh, p.m., and they are they were covering their faces. This has been happening where the power gets shut down and the uh, burglars are trying to see how soon you respond. This is the rock that they use from the break. They're not typically very pretty, so they're covered up by a lot of shrubbery, and a lot of times, sometimes it's just overgrown and it hasn't been cared for. So cutting back some of that shrubbery and exposing the box area. Luckily, the burglars couldn't take anything as they encountered an iron gate installed behind the glass door. Two robbers were captured on camera as they targeted a weapon store in Lexington. Using a vehicle, they forcefully rammed through the front door, swiftly entered the store, seized weapons, and made a quick getaway. You can do as much as you can, they can still find a way in. They didn't get any of those, any of the long, any of the AR-15s or nothing like that. It's getting that time of the year. You know, we had the uh, break-ins that happened 
a couple of years ago where they were driving through cars in Charlotte, Salisbury, but it seems to be hitting around here. Yeah, almost happened about, I believe we six times now, but we're lucky that they can't get in. Despite the owner relocating the business a few years ago to deter robberies, this unfortunate incident still occurred. Three individuals attempted to leave the store without paying for their items, and one even stole cash. However, to their surprise, sheriff's deputies were already waiting for them. As they exited, the police apprehended them, leading to charges of theft. Hey, Jim, watch for that female. Looks like we have someone else possibly leaving with a generator and some flowers. Anybody get eyes on that? There's a guy running out right now. Get him, he's out. I got him, he's running. He's through the parking lot towards 41. Sheriff's office! Stop! Stop! I'm gonna tase you! I'm gonna tase you! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I wasn't going in here, sir! Yeah, I don't know what's going on. They've been doing it. A masked and hooded man was captured on camera, entering the store with a clear agenda, grabbing a beer. While another customer was at the counter, the culprit positioned himself as if waiting to pay, but in a swift move, he made a hasty exit with two cases of beer without settling the bill. In a concerning incident, two young men entered a store, arousing suspicion. The vigilant person behind the counter quickly pulled out his phone and began recording them. Sensing scrutiny, one of the individuals attempted to conceal his face, the other wearing a hood, approached the counter, feigning a phone call. Swiftly, he snatched the phone, and both culprits hastily made their escape. In a bizarre sequence of events, a persistent thief targeted a gas station. Armed with a squeegee, he casually broke the front glass door on his first attempt. Intent on stealing cash from the register, he faced a setback when he found the door locked. Undeterred, he grabbed some snacks, including beef jerky, and exited the store. Unwilling to give up, he returned 10 minutes later with plan B, armed with a rock to break the door. Despite his efforts, the locked door thwarted him again. Undaunted as he was leaving, he made a surprising return, using the squeegee to break a display case. This time, he swiped electronic items, including a Bluetooth earpiece, a box of headphones, a taser, an electronic smoking device, and a wireless charging pad, before making his exit with his loot. In a daring move, a man first scoped out the store in disguise, wearing a wig. Returning later without the disguise, he launched a bold attack. Smashing display cases, he swiftly grabbed valuable merchandise before making a quick escape in a sleek silver BMW. Small Business Saturday brought joy to local shops like the classy Peacock in Nederland. However, the day took a turn when two women entered the store. In a bold move, one of them discreetly stuffed merchandise under her shirt while the other acted as a lookout. An employee, unsuspecting, greeted them as they casually inquired about a backpack. Unfortunately, we had a few people that showed up and took advantage of the situation of having lots of guests in the store. The first woman that came in, came in and immediately grabbed merchandise, rolled it up, and stashed it in her purse. Uh, she came back because the woman asked her for a backpack, if we had a backpack, so she brings a backpack back to show the lady, stashing more clothes up her shirt. She had an accomplice with her that was in a pink shirt um, that was basically a lookout for her, so when an employee would come their direction, she knew to stop stashing clothes. I wonder exactly the thing my same thing my mother has always told me. How can they put those clothes on their child? or put them on themselves and look at themselves in the mirror and think they look nice. How can they feel that that looks nice knowing that they stole those things? Sensing the approach of the employee, they paused their act and left the store, 
making away with stolen jeans, clothes, and children's clothing valued at $1,000, the suspects left in a brown or gold Chevrolet Impala. A man entered a supermarket and began concealing items in his pants. After completing his act, he attempted to casually exit without paying. However, to his surprise, the security staff was monitoring him through the camera. They apprehended him, retrieved all the stolen items, and escorted him away. Three women were captured on camera as they entered a clothing store, confidently filling their shopping carts to the brim with clothes. Without making any attempt to pay, they swiftly walked out, escaping the scene with their stolen loot. A man entered a supermarket, spending considerable time wandering through the aisles. Initially, he made a purchase at the counter, but on his way out, he took another item without paying. Unbeknownst to him, the security staff observed his actions on camera and swiftly apprehended him as he exited the store. Two individuals targeted an apartment building's garage in Seattle, making off with a stolen motorcycle. Arriving in a pickup truck, they encountered a locked motorcycle but opted not to bother with it. Instead, they swiftly loaded the bike onto the bed of the truck and made a quick getaway. Surveillance footage captured a woman stealing a leather handbag worth $400 from a store. Casually entering the premises, she pretended to browse the bags and engaged in conversation with an employee. Seizing the opportune moment when no one was watching, she swiftly concealed the handbag in her jacket. Demonstrating a seemingly professional approach to shoplifting, she calmly walked away with the stolen item. A man and a woman were captured on camera making a swift exit from a Michael Kors store, each clutching handfuls of expensive jackets and bags. Despite employees attempting to intervene, their efforts proved futile and the duo successfully fled with the high value items. Coming out with all the things and making their escape. Just feel like it's part of the holiday season. I'm not concerned by any means, like it's retail. I just feel so sorry for all the store people uh, that they're having to go through this. It wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of security for a while anyway. Authorities are actively working to trace and apprehend these individuals, aiming to bring them to justice.
a shoplifter's attempt at a gas station pizza heist was foiled by vigilant clerks who caught him on camera. The would-be pizza bandit entered the store and stealthily stashed a pizza in his jacket, thinking he had pulled off the perfect crime. However, the clerks were one step ahead, observing his every move on the surveillance camera. When the shoplifter and his mother approached the counter to pay for their items, the clerks informed them about the hidden pizza. Despite his mother's initial disbelief, a review of the camera footage confirmed the deed leaving her embarrassed and realizing her son was indeed a pizza pirate. This surveillance video captures a man entering the store, browsing for a while, and selecting two undershirts. He concealed one of them in his pants, kept the other in hand, proceeded to the counter, paid for it, and then made his exit. At 5 a.m., a masked man targeted a gas station with a calculated approach. After sitting on a trash can to survey the surroundings, he retrieved a rock and hurled it at the door, shattering the glass for entry. Jumping over the counter, he went straight for the register, filling his pockets with cash from both registers. Not stopping there, he spotted a carton of cigarettes and emptied a box of gift cards to stash the cigarettes. Unsatisfied, he filled a trash can with more cigarettes before returning to raid another register. With his loot in hand, he casually walked out.
At a convenience store, a guy attempts to walk out with a box of items without paying. The woman at the counter, with the lock button hanging around her neck, calmly presses it, a smirk on her face as the guy finds himself locked in. Despite his efforts to open it, he struggles in vain. Eventually, defeated, he places the box back on the counter and exits. In a distressing incident, a masked and armed individual entered the store, menacing the employees. He coerced them to the counter, demanding money, and the employees, fearing for their safety, handed over the cash. The assailant swiftly made his escape. Keon Brooks accidentally left his carry-on at the ticket counter while flying home to Los Angeles after attending a funeral in New Orleans. Despite filing a lost and found claim, his bag didn't turn up. In his quest for answers, Brooks requested security footage from the airport, revealing a Spirit Airlines worker taking his bag behind the counter. The footage showed the worker rifling through the bag, opening a pill bottle, pouring out its contents, and eventually discarding the bag and its remaining contents into the trash. Unfortunately, among the lost items were not just jewelry, but also crucial life-saving medication. In broad daylight on a busy road, security footage captured an armed man entering the Metro PCS store. He menacingly pointed his weapon at the workers behind the counter, demanding all the cash. Faced with the threat, the workers had no choice but to surrender all the money. The suspect swiftly made his escape with the ill-gotten gains. Hold on to your slurpees, folks. Police dropped a video that could double as a scene from a chaotic comedy. Picture this. A wild flash mob of more than a dozen individuals storms a 7-Eleven like they're auditioning for a blockbuster heist movie. Or maybe a reality show on how not to shop. The surveillance footage reveals the chaotic incident that unfolded in the early hours of Monday morning at a Compton intersection. The aftermath? A trail of damaged goods emptied cigarette cartons and pilfered lotto tickets. In the heart of Philadelphia, this surveillance footage unveils a daring group shattering the window of a local target. Watch as they storm in, swiftly emptying the shelves and making a daring escape leaving the store in chaos. 
At the Metro PCS on Raleigh Street, an armed and hooded man storms in, waving a silver revolver at the employee. Faced with the threat, the employee hands over all the cash. Quick as lightning, the man bolts on foot, disappearing from the scene. This social media clip captures the chaos at a McDonald's in Limert Park during Juneteenth celebrations. As the festivities unfolded, some folks took the party to the extreme, storming the restaurant. One person snatched the cash register, hauling it onto the street, where a crowd formed to grab whatever cash they could. There was some wild stuff going on uh, yesterday. I feel like it was hot. it got a little hot for a second, and there was a lot of people crowded together, and that probably created you know some type of animosity or I don't know. But that's unfortunate for sure. I'm also a man of God, so you know I try not to fear anything but God. But at the same time, you got to be smart. You got to be cautious. I seen a video of that on Instagram. It's crazy because I had, I think I left like right around that same time. Now a 19-year-old suspect is in cuffs and the police are on the hunt for others involved. At 12.15 p.m., a guy walks into the Metro PCS store, throwing orders left and right. He herds all the employees to the back, demanding the Apple iPhone 6 and Galaxy S6. With a weapon pointed, a guy hits the floor while two ladies pack the phones into bags. He then forces an employee to unlock a rear door and then bolts with the loot, a stash of cell phones. Maplewood, New Jersey, faced a double hit when a person went on a restaurant rampage. First, on Saturday morning, surveillance caught this guy at Artie's restaurant. He smashes a brick into the glass door, barges in like he owns the place, and strolls out with two cash registers. Not satisfied, the very next day at 4.45 a.m., he hits Sabatino's Pizza. This time, he grabs the cash and escapes in a black SUV. Sunday turns into a cleanup day for Sabatino Perota, fixing up the damage and reopening. There's glass all over the place. You know, there, I, had to, I had to wipe and clean everything. I mean, it's such a small space that there was glass everywhere. Word spread fast about Sabatino's pizza break-in, and despite having to stay close that day, the community rallied. Dozens stopped by, offering help. Sabatino is relieved to be dealing with the aftermath of a burglary instead of a full-blown robbery. The way I looked at it is I'm, I'm happy nobody came in here at 4 o'clock afternoon, possibly with a gun. I might have a 17-year-old young, young person working, you know? 4 o'clock in the morning, nobody was here. Go in, do what you got to do, get out. With a 17-year-old on staff, he's thankful the incident didn't occur during business hours, preventing potential harm to his team. A mob of looters hit El Patron liquor store in Cicero, smashing display cases and wreaking havoc behind the counter. Within minutes, 
Cicero police swooped in, wielding batons for arrests. Even a police dog joined the action. Despite the damage, it wasn't just the shattered bottles that brought a tearful moment. The sight brought an officer to tears, and those tears resonated with the owner's friend, resulting in an emotional hug. Before I cried, the officer cried, and that what made me cry. And I said, this is not what is supposed to happen in our country. You know, it's all about safety. I don't care, you know, this, this can be replaced. Life cannot. Amidst the cleanup, as employees and the owner tackled the aftermath, sharp eyes caught two looters hiding in the back storage rack. Call them up. Call them up. Two guys in here. Two guys in here. Two guys in here. Two guys in here. They're inside. They're hiding. Two guys in here. Right here. These are right here. Come on, out. Out. I saw some movement in the top. I said, wait a minute, we don't have nothing up there. What's moving? The police made swift arrests, discovering a weapon stashed in one of their backpacks. Imagine this. Two CVS employees find themselves trapped, frantically dialing 911 in a desperate attempt to escape before looters make their move. And then it unfolds. A swarm of looters storms in, grabbing whatever they can. Some race down the aisles while others vault over counters on the hunt for cash registers. One determined looter persistently tries to wreak havoc, pushing over store shelves. Santa 911, what is the address of your number? Uh, we're getting break, breaked into CVS on 30th and Fowler. Right? 30th and Fowler? Yep. How many people are there? There's a lot of people. All right, are they inside already? They are. They broke into the pharmacy and they're still in the register and everything. We, we exactly at the store. We're at the store. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. I got you. Sorry, I, I tried to, I don't know where, I didn't know where you were. I'm sorry. <laughs> the hardest part is you feel helpless as an observer uh, watching from here, uh, wishing you could have been there. Um, that's why we're working so hard right now. Did they threaten you guys? Did they show any weapons? No, no, they, they left us alone. They left us alone. We didn't talk to them. We didn't interact with them. They just went around us and did whatever they're going to do. In the midst of the chaos, the manager discreetly slips out the back, taking a moment to console a threatened employee still stuck inside. A group of four masked men stormed into a convenience store in broad daylight. One of them hopped over the counter, aiming for the cash register only to find it locked. Spotting an employee, they started grabbing items from the shelves and hurling them at him. The chaos escalated as they even threw trash cans. After causing a ruckus, they swiftly fled on their feet. The Houston Police Department released video footage of an attempted robbery at a Northeast Houston convenience store. Two individuals entered the store with crowbars in hand, targeting the room where cash was kept. Their attempt to force open the door with the crowbar failed and they ultimately left the store. Police are currently seeking these would-be thieves. Three masked armed men captured on camera entered the Sefner Metro PCS store and initiated a robbery. They forcefully shoved the employee stealing money in plain view. Instead of making a quick escape after taking the money, they displayed ruthless and aggressive behavior toward the employee. They dragged him to the floor and proceeded to take items from his pockets.
the employee was frightened and warned not to call the police. Two armed men targeted Metro PCS in Miami during the daytime. They entered the store with other customers present, including a young boy who sat under a phone display table. The armed men approached the store employee behind the counter, demanding money, while another male held another store employee outside. After taking the money, they quickly fled the scene in a car. It's like 1 a.m., and these two guys, all masked up, decide to go after an ATM. They use a crowbar to pop open the top, revealing the insides. Then, they attach hooks, and with a truck's push, they crack open the vault in about 20 seconds. Not like this, not like this. So this, this is different. You know, you're used to seeing people take the whole machine, you know, and, and that type of thing. So they're, they're getting a little, little more uh, intelligent in how they're, they're committing these crimes. Crime doesn't pay, you know, they may get away with it for now, but eventually they do get caught. So I wouldn't want to have that on, on, on my shoulders for sure. These guys are fast and pro. You won't believe it. And get this, they pulled off the same stunt at a credit union, scoring $80,000. The cops are on their tail, and banks are beefing up security to stop these ATM wizards. Check out these crazy shoplifting incidents caught on camera. At JCPenney, two ladies grab jeans. But then a third one shows up with a whole stack of them. They all walk out like it's no big deal, taking about $2,000 worth of jeans. Approximately 38 pairs of jeans uh, were taken, and then they uh, just walk out because they're entering into the structure uh, with the intent to steal. A lot of times I figure it's just bootleg stuff, but I'm sure there's plenty of that going on too. I mean, you know, $2,000 worth of jeans is a lot of money. In Richmond, some thieves pile up so much clothing that they can't even see where they're going. It's getting wild out there, and the National Retail Federation says shoplifting is getting more organized and costly for stores. It's not just small stuff anymore. These folks are pulling off some major heists. Watch this crazy video of people just walking out of stores with stolen stuff. The first guy doesn't even wear a mask, and the second one looks right at the camera like he's on a stroll. Someone tried to stop them, but they still got away. These thieves grabbed fancy designer bags and bolted. And in the Bay Area, a shoplifter filled a bag at a drugstore, escaping on a bike when security tried to step in. Over at Best Buy, an employee took on a guy with a backpack full of stolen stuff, managing to grab the bag. What's up, guys? I want to see how far you guys get. They have no care in the world. They strolled out. They knew that they weren't going to get uh, arrested. These criminals, they go into the store, they probably have their calculator. Oh, I'll steal $850 worth of merchandise and nothing's going to happen to me. It is totally insane. I recognize a customer. He would go in every three to five days, grab a backpack off the shelf, fill it with video game consoles, and he would just walk out the door. Yes, I was definitely shocked. I was upset. I've never been fired from a job. It's a wild world out there, and stores are dealing with a lot. A young lady is sneakily putting lots of liquor bottles into her bag. No checkout, nothing. And to top it off, as she's leaving, two more women seem to join her, like they're all in on it together. It makes you think about how tough it is for stores to stop this kind of stealing. At Base Pro Shops, things took a bold turn when a person walked in, grabbed a cart, and loaded it up with stuff worth more than $2,600. This bold individual then strolled right out, not bothered by the store's security measures. To make things worse, an employee tried to step in, but the suspect just pushed them away.
This whole situation sheds light on how tough it is for store employees to stop theft, especially considering the limitations they face due to existing laws. At a local store, a sneaky thief managed to pull off a quick and quite expensive heist, leaving everyone there in shock. Picture this, a guy wearing a black hat and shirt walks in, looking like any other customer. He starts asking employees some seemingly normal questions, keeping his real plan under wraps. What the staff and owner didn't know was that this guy was about to grab a bunch of jerseys worth a ton of money. In a blink, he snatched the jerseys and made a run for it, leaving everyone stunned. He smoothly walked out, hopped into a black truck, and vanished in no time. He had a couple in his hand, was asking about sizing for them, which is unique because um, these jerseys in themselves are not, they're wearable, but they're not meant to be worn. So it's difficult. We've done a lot to try and make this a very family-friendly environment. It's very unsettling when you get the phone call and that somebody has broken in. Um, but it's one of those where we've thought for each and every incident is, is that, that no one got hurt. Fortunately, we have a very solid and a very loyal customer base. Um, so we're able to regroup a little bit with that and we appreciate all those that continue to support us. This bold theft is a clear reminder that you gotta stay alert even in the most ordinary situations. At a gas station in Cumberland, there were two robbery incidents that got the whole community on edge. First, at the Cumberland Speedway gas station, some masked robbers barged in, armed and serious. One of them even showed a weapon to the clerk, making it clear they meant business. In a flash, they grabbed all the cash from the register and made a quick exit. One was carrying a long and the other one didn't appear to have anything with him. Um, they came in and demanded cash from the register, got the money and ran out. Now, here's the shocker. Just nine days later, those same two folks showed up again. This time, they switched things up with a different weapon, making things even scarier. And as they were making their escape, one of them accidentally dropped some coins they took during the first robbery. This time it was just a smaller hand. There was no long exposed. Um, one of the suspects had a, um, a backpack, but, but this time they had also taken the little coin thing that's on the register and taken that too and ran out. And there were other people in the business during this. These back-to-back -back incidents really highlight how daring these criminals can be and how tricky it is for places like gas stations. At a local store, something unexpected went down. An employee spotted a suspected shoplifter and decided to do something about it. The employee, thinking something was off, approached the person. What happened next surprised everyone. The employee asked the woman to show what was in her purse. The whole purse was filled with stuff stolen from the store. Even with this discovery, the alleged shoplifter tried to leave in a hurry, but the employee wasn't having it. There was a bit of a struggle as the worker tried to get back all the stuff taken from the store. Oh, stop. Stop it up right now. I will. Not... Oh, this is not okay. Yeah, you know what else is not okay? Stealing from us. Yeah, I know that. This brave move by the worker shows how tough it can be for stores dealing with these kinds of situations. So, there's this video from Adelaide that's pretty wild. There's this guy. He goes into a store and steals $5,000 worth of fancy meat. It's like he's a pro at it or something. He walks in, acts all normal, and goes straight for the meat section. Then he sneaks the meat under his jacket like it's no big deal. The crazy part is, he goes to the checkout, pays for something small, and walks out like nothing happened. It's like he's done this before. This video makes you wonder about why he's so good at stealing stuff, you know? At a gas station convenience store, a really scary thing went down, and it was all caught on tape. Three guys wearing masks showed up armed with weapons, making it clear they meant business. They pointed their weapons at the person behind the counter, demanding and grabbing money in a hurry.
At a jewelry store in Pasadena, California, things got intense when two guys pretending to be customers turned out to be up to no good. The owner sensed something fishy and decided to keep an eye on them. He even made sure his hidden weapon was ready just in case. As the robbers checked out the jewelry, the owner quietly made his way around, getting ready to stop them if they tried to run. The tension peaked when one of the guys pulled out a knife, trying to attack the owner, but another employee behind the counter was quick to act, pulling out a hidden weapon. The attempted robbery didn't go as planned, and the robbers had to make a run for it. Even though it was a scary situation, the employees' quick thinking and working together stopped things from getting worse, making sure everyone stayed safe. In the dark of the night, a bunch of thieves pulled off a bold heist at a sneaker store. They used heavy tools to break open the front door and quickly got inside. With impressive speed, they cleared out all the sneakers from the shelves, stuffing their bags in no time. The thieves knew exactly what they were doing, and they made a quick getaway. This is from our very first break-in. This is from our third break-in. The theft was so fast that the store lost a lot of money. This shows why it's important to have better security to stop these kinds of crimes. A man was caught on camera at a public supermarket in Miami Shores, pulling off a quick theft. He grabbed a pack of potato chips, approached the cashier from behind, snatched a fistful of cash, and made a run for it. Despite attempts by customers to stop him, he managed to escape. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. Imagine a scene of audacious theft. Three culprits armed with a sledgehammer crash into a petrol station. A single swing shatters the front door, leading them to the register. However, their attempts fail, leaving them with meager spoils. Undeterred, the trio strikes another station nearby. Here, a shirtless intruder navigates security wires, making off with cash, but not without a clumsy slip at the exit. It is like idiotic behavior. The saga continues a week later. The initial station falls victim again, this time to a dubious duo. They deftly maneuver through security wires, grabbing cigarettes and cash. On top, it increased our insurance cost. We've got to do all we can to support victims. We also have to fix the broken Youth Justice Act. We've got to turn around and get more police on the front. The fallout? A hefty $10000 blow to the business, covering losses and repairs, as the manager grapples with the aftermath of these relentless thefts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.